Hello guys, this is Pedro with another video here for you guys. So today's video is going to be about one rep maxes. Now here I have a one rep max calculator, uh, as you can see. And why I use the one rep max calculator is to one, predict my one rep max, and two, to help me uh, set a goal for that day when I'm training. Help me set a goal for that day of training. Help me set a goal for that day of training. I don't use the one rep max to calculate my one rep max uh, for the hell of it. What I usually do is I actually go into the gym and get my one rep max by myself. Uh, I usually try to get a spotter or something and, and check out my one rep max on my deadlift, squat, bench, uh, all the major exercises I'm going to be. Uh, using percentage training with. And percentage training basically that's just if you do uh, let me whip out a calculator for you guys real quick. Let's say you're doing 200 pounds and you want to train at 75% that day. This will give you about uh, 8 to 10 reps I think. Uh, so you're going to be training with 150 pounds that day. Why the one rep max calculator is useful? So if your max is 200 pounds, and you're training with 150 pounds that day, um, let's calculate our max. So you can see here we're only doing six reps. Let's say we only hit six reps that day with 150. Uh, we're ending up with 175 uh, max if we round up. Now what this means to me is that that day you're performing at 175 max. But if your max is 200, that means you're underperforming yourself by 25 pounds if you're only hitting 6 reps on that set. What I kind of do with the calculator is give me a, a baseline that I should be hitting. So if I want to train a 200 pound max, uh, let's say I'm hitting 8 reps, it's still not enough, so 10 reps. So I need to hit 10 reps with 150 pounds to be able to be training at a 200 uh, max. And, and what this typically means to me is that if you're underperforming a little bit, let's say you only hit 9 pounds, you're at 193. Uh, you round up 195. So it means you're underperforming by 5 pounds. Usually this isn't a problem. You can still make progress, but I usually use this as a benchmark. Like If you're only hitting 7 reps of that day, um, you're only performing at 80, so you're underperforming by 20 pounds. So that means, but, you know, I, I just kind of use this to give me a guideline of uh, how much weight to be using that day. Now, let's say I hit 12 reps with 150. Uh, the first week I, I only do 10 and I hit a 200 training max. But next week I go in and try again with 150. This time I get 12 reps. So this means I've increased my performance by about 16 pounds. Uh, I mean, if you want to, you want to go with a little bit of math. Uh, we're uh, two sixteen divided by two hundred, so we've increased our um, our performance by eight percent since last week. Anyhow, as you can see here, we're improving because we're we're performing overperforming our math. So this means we're making progress. This is how I use the one rep max calculator. Is is, is kind of giving me a benchmark at what I should be doing that day. So for me, let's say I'm going in and. Uh, for me, let's say I'm going in and I'm benching that day. So I bench like 300 pounds, and the way I'm training, um, I'm doing uh, Wendler's, and it would be my uh, once week. So I'd be training at 95% of 95%. So I got to use 275. Now, my max is 300. So i got to aim for about 4 reps, I think. So, yeah. If I hit 4 reps with 275, I'm performing at a 300 bench, which means I'm, I'm maintaining my strength. To me, this usually means I'm maintaining my strength. Because I'm not underperforming, but I'm not overperforming. So I'm, I'm, not, uh, I'm not losing or gaining anything. 
However, if I manage to hit that fifth rep, you can see I performed a little bit better than if I only did four reps. Just a little tiny bit, but this little tiny bit means I'm making progress. Now let's say somehow magically hit six reps um, and give me a 320 max. Now that doesn't mean I can hit 320, but it means I can definitely hit over 300. Um, even if it's only a few pounds over 300, I can definitely hit over 300, which means I've made some progress. Um, now the reason I use this is because it helps me figure out my training intensity, so how hard I should be uh, working out on a particular day. It helps me set a goal for that day too, uh, what weight I should be hitting, with how many reps, and, and kind of gives me a minimum performance that I have to do that day. So it's like I can't be like, oh, I'm going to pussy out and only, only do like two reps with you know, let's say I was only hitting 275 that day, and I only wanted to hit two reps because I was feeling a little lazy. Well, it might motivate me a little bit more if I, I see that it's only 285 performance. It's like, well, well that's only like 10 pounds more. Uh, do you really want to cheat yourself like that? Is, is how I see it. And, guys, this is just uh, the way I go about training with percentages. I hope this kind of gave you an idea of how to go about selecting weights for that day that you're training and kind of giving you a, a benchmark in terms of how many reps you should be performing that day to be making progress. Uh, uh, thanks for watching guys. Make sure you comment in the video, uh, like if you like the video, and subscribe for more videos. Thanks.